okay so welcome to this screen let's just get started uh, so the first thing which we are going to do is for android so if you are making an android game this section is for you or else you can skip to the next part so firstly you need to get to the plugin section and installed and you need to enable this android play billing uh plugin and just say yes if you don't know where it is uh, it's a free plugin on the unreal engine marketplace uh, library and yeah it's a free plugin on the marketplace android play plugin you can just enable this and and yeah you just need to restart the editor hmm just let me check if it is enabled yeah it's enabled and now on the purchase section where we purchase the things it's in the game instance so we need to go in the game game instance and open our game instance and we need to check where we did our it's event update currency it's failure it's register and it's event purchase item so before purchasing this item on the website of playfab we need to cut the money from the user's account that is this x amount that is the price so we need to cut that and if you right click you can see we get an android play billing thing and you see we have a lot of things so you can just launch billing flow and operational create custom event name this launch billing flow and here you need to add the product id of the item which is this and you if you can also check if you are making a game where you can only make it once like you can only want the guns is going to be purchased once so what you can do is you can just go here and make it uh, you can just go here android play billing and uh, where it is mm. android play billing is purchased and you can just give the product id now i know you must be thinking how would you get the product id of the x item so it's very easy you just need to oh, sorry you just need to go back to your main menu i believe yeah main menu and store section and data table and we need just one more item so you can open the row uh, add a variable name this item play store id and make it it an string and just save so you notice we get an extra play store id which you can just put your id here uh, game it would take seven days to get a testing game so i believe i won't be able to show it show the preview but you can just enter the id you can get the id from this item reference you know so next if it's purchased then just launch the billing flow so let's enter hello here you will just need to enter the product id and it's a product or a subscription it's a subscription and if it is valid like we can just equal this enum so you see billing unavailable you get a law so if it is okay that means the purchase was uh, successfully completed then we need to purchase it on the playfair website so drag this here you can just press control and drag the things and then the purchase item flow would continue so this is the only logic required for the playfair website uh, the one more thing which you can do is you can just check the uh, get the item id from this event purchase node wherever you call it let me just show mm, store item widget and you see we have an item list thing uh, so you can just pass it like this or you can also pass the row name anything which is convenient to you know 
let's move on to the next section okay so for steam yeah i know uh, for steam it would be difficult because i don't know of any free plugin that allows steam purchases through blueprints so if you are a c plus plus developer it would be free for you or else it would cost 60 dollars or i believe the light version is 30 dollars uh we would be using a free plugin uh, no sorry a paid plugin sorry <laughs> a played paid plugin that is steam core you can just restart this now the reason we are using this i just searched a lot if there is a blueprint method but i couldn't find one but uh, you can just search or get the c plus plus code for the free version you can join discord and i can provide you the free version code or yeah that's the thing so if you have enabled the plugin you will notice you get a lot of eos things uh where is it steam steam yeah steam core so you can just call your uh steam core purchase function here let me just show that so this is the initialization transaction for your steam core plugin uh for microtransaction so you can just set up the items like this and remember to put the item id and things like that yeah the documentation for the steam core is complete and then you need to do this uh, let me just show you you need to do this initiate the purchase and for finalizing the purchase what you need to do mm, let me just yeah if uh, can i make it bigger yeah you see it shows on success purchase done and same above here purchase result so if the purchase result is done that means the process was complete then you need to purchase this x item so yeah this was the thing and we can also make a exola login system uh, for exola 2 the purchase code would just go here you can just initiate a purchase thing uh, a few people requested so i just made this video for android especially and for the rest of the system it's clear i believe the rest things work next video is coming soon and that's on the replication of this template thank you